Hey guys, Crypto Dad here again, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the brand new Coinbase wallet. So let's get going. All right, so the wallet is a uh, an iOS or Android app. They don't have a desktop version of this wallet. So I'm going to share my phone with you. All right, so uh, let's go grab this uh, app. Go over here to the App Store, and I'm going to go to Search, and I'm going to choose Coin, oops, Coinbase Wallet, and you'll notice there the second choice there, the autofill is Wallet. I'm going to tap that. Uh, the first app you see there is actually the Coinbase app, where you can log into your account, you can buy and sell uh, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, and Ethereum Classic now. Uh, but what we don't want that we I already have it uh, what we want is the coinbase wallet which is just below there so I'm going to hit get and we'll just uh, log in however you log in facial ID or if you have to enter your password to buy apps then uh, I feel sorry for you <laughs> all right so now there we've got the coinbase wallet. I'm going to tap open and there we go. So here it is. Uh, I'm going to create a new wallet. So I'll tap create new wallet. All right. And then I'm just going to tap agree. So it's going to create an account and it's going to explain to us that uh, we are in control of this account. So uh, the important point to remember here is, as I said, if you don't control the private keys to your wallet, you really don't own the cryptocurrency. Uh, and with that uh, ownership comes responsibility. If you lose your uh, private keys, uh, then you've lost your cryptocurrency. So you are totally responsible. So we're going to uh, tap there that we understand this, and we'll continue. And it gives us 12 words. This is our recovery phrase. If we lose the phone or uninstall the app or, you know, uh, we drop our phone in the pool, whatever happens, we can get back to the wallet simply by using these 12 words. So I am going to write them down on a piece of paper. Now, when you do this, it's a great idea to uh, write at the top of the paper exactly which wallet it is, uh, what it's for, and the date. So uh, if you're going through your papers and you see this strange recovery phrase, you'll know what it's associated with. So I'll go ahead and write down uh, the 12 words now. All right, so I've written down my phrase. Uh, one thing I'll point out, and I've dealt with wallets like this before, a lot of them will put a number in front of each word because the word order is important. It's pretty obvious that you go from left to right and then down to the next line, but the word order is important, so just remember that. So I'm going to tap verify recovery phrase, and then it just wants me to tap the words in order again and uh, to verify that I have indeed written this down. And I'll also note that when you write this phrase down, please be legible. Don't just uh, scribble it down uh, because if you uh, can't read your own writing, uh, that could be a problem in the future if you're trying to recover. And believe me, uh, I've tried to read my own writing in the future uh, a few uh, weeks or months down the road and I have no idea what I wrote down. So please write legibly. So. All right, and when you're done with that and you verified your password, then uh, you can uh, decide how you want to protect your account. I like to use Face ID. I find it uh, very convenient and uh, secure, so I'm going to choose that. I'm assuming if you don't have uh, one of the latest iPhones, you could use Touch ID. We'll go ahead and enable uh, notifications. All right, and so I've got a couple of little alerts that say, hey, welcome. And there's the wallet address. Now, if you're not familiar with cryptocurrencies address, the uh, cryptocurrency addresses, you will, uh, you may not recognize this, but those of you who are will immediately recognize that this is an Ethereum address. It starts with a zero X, and uh, I don't know, it's around 15 characters long. And so you use Ethereum addresses for Ethereum and also ERC-20 tokens. So any ERC-20 tokens that you send to this wallet 
will go to this exact same address. They all are stored in the same public address. So uh, you could just send uh, tokens to this wallet to get this thing going. So why don't we do that, okay? And so the first thing I'll do is send a bit of Ethereum over. I'm going to put it next to the Coinbase app. Right. In fact, why don't we just like create a little folder here? Yeah. And I'm going to call this uh, Coinbase. Just for the heck of it. All right. And there we go. All right. So uh, I can do uh, straight from Coinbase. Uh, maybe it's easier for some people. So let's just go into Coinbase. Let's go down here to Ethereum. And let's buy a little bit. And let's just do $25 worth of Ethereum. I'm using my debit card. So you could change, you could use bank or debit. I'm going to use debit. Debit is much, much faster. Although the, the limit is a bit lower. But we're not buying $10,000 worth today. So uh, I'm going to preview this. And I'm going to confirm it. Ah, okay. So I just bought uh, $25 worth of Ethereum. Cool. So I'm going to go over to accounts here. And there we go. Uh, you can see the Ethereum is in my account now. And so let's say we want to move it. Uh, I'm going to do this the easiest way. And then maybe I'll explain uh, later that there are cheaper ways to do this. But uh, let's just keep it simple. I'm going to swap over to the uh, other app, the Coinbase wallet. And I'm going to choose, see the address up there. I'm going to tap copy. So I have the uh, wallet address in my clipboard. And so then I'm just going to flip back over to the Coinbase. And now I want to send, right? I want to send this Ethereum to my Coinbase wallet. Why am I doing this? Because I would rather keep my Ethereum in a wallet that has private keys that I control as opposed to the Coinbase online account, which could get hacked, which could get shut down, which uh, I could lose my internet connection. There's a lot of things that could uh, cause me to lose my holdings because basically I'm trusting them uh, because they're the ones holding the private key. So let's move our Ethereum over to this nifty new wallet where I control the private key. So I'm not gonna buy or sell, right? I already own it, so I'm gonna send it. So you see up there in the corner, there's a little uh, paper airplane icon. I'm gonna tap that and I'm gonna send and how much am I gonna send I'd like to send it all if I can ah so I'm gonna choose use max and I'm gonna send all my ethereum over right and then I'm gonna tap next and what is the address I'm just gonna paste that guy in there I just uh, copied it over from the wallet right and I'll call this one first transaction Right. Start to feel the excitement build already, right? Ah, now here's the interesting part. See, they notice there a mining fee will be added for sends to Ethereum addresses. Miner fees do not go to Coinbase. Uh, and this is part of the Ethereum network. It's not going to be a huge hit. It's going to be a bit of a hit. But I'm going to keep it simple for you guys. We'll tap next. And then we're going to confirm. How much is the minor fee? It looks like it's going to be about two cents in this uh, instance. So uh, I'm willing to accept that. I'm going to hit confirm and bam and boom. There you go. Uh, the balance of Ethereum is now zero. Right. And uh, you'll see down there, I've got a pending transaction uh, of Ethereum going out. All right. Now let's go back over to our wallet. and just kind of keep an eye on what's going on and pretty soon we should see uh, the ethereum come into the wallet all righty there uh, now we can see that the ethereum has arrived in the wallet now it's kind of interesting because there at the top it says uh, under wallet addresses it says receive ether and tokens and then uh, when you look down below there, it lists tokens and uh, then it has Ethereum. So it's sort of like grouping Ethereum in with the tokens. 
ETH is uh, Ethereum is the name of the uh, protocol uh, or the company or however you want to think of it, whereas Ether is the uh, underlying cryptocurrency that sort of gets moved back and forth. And you can see there uh, it's twenty three dollars and forty three cents worth of ETH. I didn't lose that much by transferring it directly from Coinbase. Now there are uh, better ways to do this that would save you that two cents uh, but we're not going to worry about that too much today I wanted to keep it simple and so there you have it uh, pretty cool little wallet and before I go on to the next thing I'm gonna explore the wallet a little bit down below there and uh, you'll see that uh, if you tap this tab there where it says tokens and collectibles that uh, you can add collectibles there are certain D apps out there or distributed apps where you can buy uh, collectible cryptocurrency things, you know, like Crypto Kitties, if you ever heard of that. There's little artwork and there's stuff that you can buy that you may or may not uh, be interested in. Um, <clears throat> from what I understand, uh, they can be looked at as investments. Uh, there, I remember back in the heyday of Crypto Kitties that there were some uh, very valuable crypto kitties being traded. So, or you, if you just think they're cool, you can keep them in this wallet, which is pretty nice. So we'll flip back over here to tokens. Now they're down at the bottom. Uh, as you see, there's a little thing called D apps. I can tap that. And there's a lot of cool apps that are available that you can use uh, to just kind of explore uh, the Ethereum network. All of these uh, are uh, decentralized apps that are uh, on the uh, Ethereum network that you can use and uh, have fun with this wallet right? and then you've got messages down there uh, where people can send you messages it looks like uh, I got one from WalletBot I'm going to go ahead and check it out Wallet we're a community of people who are passionate about bringing financial services to everyone in the world. Ah, okay. What do you want your wallet username to be? I don't know if it's this case sensitive or not, but I will use my camel case here. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you go. Okay, I'll set your username to the crypto dad. Is that correct? I'll say yes. And so uh, we can go over here to settings. I don't see that my, I'm gonna go ahead and close the wallet. And uh, open it again. And see if they change me back over to Crypto Dad. Let's see what we got here. Hey, there we go. So uh, I kinda had to log out and log back in again to get my Crypto Dad. And there you go. Now, the cool thing about setting this user ID is that uh, now uh, when I want to send money to someone else that's using this exact same wallet, I don't have to do that whole uh, Ethereum address thing, right? Now, I could probably send them crypto using that Ethereum address, but uh, it's much easier to send, uh, you know, like at Jane uh, Jones. Uh, or at the crypto dad uh, it's a much easier way to send cryptocurrency back and forth so that's pretty cool all right we'll go back to the wallet now uh, one other thing that I would like to do is throw some ERC 20 tokens in there so um, let me walk you through that I know it's it's a little bit convoluted but uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, we'll go for it all right, so uh, I've decided I'll put a little uh, BAT, uh, basic attention token, into this uh, new wallet. So the first thing I need to do is get a hold of some. All right, and there we go, basic attention token. Now let's move it into our little wallet. All right, so I'm gonna turn on screen sharing again. All right, so we're gonna go back into our Coinbase wallet. Now I need to get that address, so uh, how am I going to do that? All right. I'm dealing uh, between the phone and the computer. So let's go back over here to the wallet. Let's copy that address. We've copied that to the clipboard. 
and I'm just gonna send myself an email. All right, now this is the public address, the Coinbase wallet, so there's no danger in uh, sending this through the clear net. So I'm just going to paste it in there. All right, and as you can see, I just received it. All right, and I'm going to copy that Ethereum address from my mail. This is the Ethereum address of the uh, Coinbase wallet. We're going to go over here to uh, basic attention. We're going to make a withdrawal. Uh, they're going to hit me for 10 bat. I'll, I'll live with that. I'm not too crazy about it, but I'll live with it just so I can demo what, what I'm doing here. So I'll just put in the uh, full amount there. I need to put the address, right? So there it is. That's the address of our wallet. So we'll click withdraw bat, choose withdraw, and there it goes. And uh, now the bat should be empty. We'll uh, refresh, and you can see the bat is completely empty. And then we can go to pending withdrawals and kind of check out the progress here, right? Alrighty, and there we go. I just got that uh, 100 bat into this uh, new nifty wallet. And uh, pretty cool. So, uh, like I mentioned, uh, this wallet is uh, local to me. I own the private key. The private key is stored on my phone. Now, I, don't, I can't see the private key itself, but I do have the recovery phrase if I ever need to uh, regenerate the private key on my phone. So why do, are we even doing this, right? Uh, I mentioned before that uh, we want a wallet where we control the private key, so that's obvious. But why is Coinbase doing this? Coinbase is a great platform for buying cryptocurrencies and even storing them on their servers. But uh, one of the weaknesses uh, for real cryptocurrency enthusiasts was that they, uh, they control the private keys. And so it was really uh, not safe to store their cryptocurrency on the Coinbase servers. Now, uh, so Coinbase has come out with this wallet to sort of allow users to sort of within their umbrella uh, to actually store cryptocurrencies uh, and and control their own private keys. So I'm as I'm assuming and I'm hoping that it will they will become much easier to. Uh, fund these coinbase wallets uh, from directly from your coinbase account and it would be cool if they would just like waive the fees you know somehow uh, when you're transferring between the coinbase account and the coinbase wallet which makes sense to me and also uh, introduce people to erc20 tokens and eventually start selling them uh, they have announced that they're working on support for a basic attention token among others uh, new coins that they'll be offering. So this is kind of a preliminary way of allowing people uh, exposure to uh, sending and receiving and uh, dealing with uh, these types of currencies. So more power to Coinbase. Uh, I like that they've sort of expanded into the space. So there you have it. You've got a nifty new wallet uh, by Coinbase and which allows you to store Ethereum and uh, ERC-20 tokens uh, where you control the private key. And I think that's pretty cool. So uh, if you have any questions about this, please feel free to throw them up in the comments section or any other comments, statements, outbursts that you would like to put down in the comments section. I would love to hear from you guys. I'd like to remind everyone that I have a uh, live stream every Friday night at 6 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Join me for the live Q&A in L.A. Uh, throw out any questions that you have. Uh, sit down and join the conversation. Uh, relax and have a great time. I look forward to seeing you there. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. When you subscribe, there's a little bell that will allow you to be alerted whenever, you, whenever I post new content. And if you're viewing this video on Steemit, please give me an upvote. I really appreciate it. So once again, thanks for joining me and hope to see you again soon.